What's up, gang? Here we are back with another dope, quick mix video. This video is going to be about TVT and more specifically map vision and when and how to get map vision, where to place your units. Um, it's a question that I feel like uh, I get asked a lot by people that I coach. Um, so I just figured that it would be, probably be really helpful to just make a video on it, a really quick video um, that I could just, you know, reference and stuff like that. So um, this is a TVT I put on EU, uh, playing against Milky Cow. Uh, who, by the way, had an amazing run in the King of Battle qualifier. They, the first EU qualifier, absolutely insane. Took out, like, Showtime. Showtime, Rainer, Elazer. I think that, oh, uh, Spirit now, formerly Soul. So, yeah, pretty, pretty nuts. This is a few days before that, actually. So, I don't know what the man ate. It's absolutely insane. So, uh, I'm starting the video here because I'm about to land. Well, I'm setting up my Thermite at my Raxes. And the game is starting to head towards the mid game, which is about when you really start trying to get that map vision. So here I am here on the side. I'm gonna go ahead, start the video. So oh my, adding my production. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this volume a little bit. I feel like I always do this in every video. Um, so I'm adding my production here. So it's my opponent. And let's just take a look at the units real quick. So currently I have, if you look here, I have Sorry, one Cyclone, 14 Marines, and two Ravens. But my opponent actually has two Reapers and a Cyclone. So the really nice thing about having a leftover Reaper Hellion from the early game is that you can actually use these extra units to take the towers as opposed to sending Marines. You know, if you put a Reaper at a Watchtower, it's really good because then the Reaper not only kills the Marine, but it's going to regen HP before the next Marine comes from your opponent, which means you actually might even be able to kill more units, if that makes sense. So... Um, of course, not always you're going to have extra Reapers and Hellions, um, but if, for example, like you've already scouted your opponent, you already know what your opponent's doing, uh, more or less, then you kind of don't really need to stack the Reapers into their base, so what you can actually do then is take these two Watchtowers, um, and bam, you have map vision. So, currently he has a map vision here. I send a Marine to check the third, and kind of see what's going on here, because I have no map vision, I have no map presence, or map control, because again, my opponent has these leftover units that like a little bit harder to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my third base. Um, and as I do this, I want to have immediate map vision because when you take this third base is when you become extremely vulnerable to players, um, especially if they're aggressive. So for example, he could see that I'm landing my third now and he'll want to attack me first before I attack into him. So that what they might do is attack here, kind of go over here and then try to, um, what's the word like, out position me because uh, I'll be trying to land this and secure this while um, not leaving enough to defend this side of the map here. So um, immediately, Marine here. I actually scan to kill the Cyclone. And then I send some Marines here. So now at this point here, I have map control and I also, ha I also have a leftover Cyclone. So I can repair this real quickly here and just re-put it back out there. So that's kind of what ends up happening here. I start fighting for map control. I have two Marines here. I actually send two Marines up here to replace this Marine. So I'm being very, very, very persistent about this map control. Now, um, in terms of where you want to put them, while the obvious places do include the watchtowers, not all maps have watchtowers. Um, uh, similarly though, if I have my Marines too far out here, it's possible that he takes this tower and I see him. And I might think that because he took this tower, he's going to go ahead and move into my third or to my fourth base, but that's not true. Very oftentimes what happens is they actually go the other way and then you know, you're kind of forced to send another spotter here, but you don't really know where they're going to go. And it's possible that if you don't know fast enough, you get um, out positioned and you die. And that happens a lot. That actually happens a lot. So beyond taking these towers, what you can actually do is leave them a little bit closer to your side of the map. So for example, here would be a really good spot on this particular map because that would give you enough time to unsiege here and move up here, right? And if they're already here, they've already committed. It's, it takes way longer for them to go all the way around like this all around this way, right? And by that point there, you could also send a Marine here. So that would basically allow you to see them more committedly this way. And then you don't have to worry about them kind of going around the other way. Uh, Cause it's not as easy. So same thing would be on, on this side, right? You could have a Marine here and a Marine here, you know, if not here. So you can actually see what Milky Cat does here. He doesn't fight for the towers, but he positions his Marine similarly. So he puts, he puts one here, puts one in the middle, which again, is something I should be doing here because I don't have that. And he actually pl places this one here to pick up um, drops. And same thing with the depot. There's actually a really cool trick. Um, I actually use a missile turret myself uh, because the missile turret will actually shoot the medevac or whatever is flying by and it'll alert me. It'll actually give me an alert. So beyond actually seeing it on the mini map, I get an alert 
which I think is very, 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 very helpful, um, as opposed to relying on you looking in peripheral vision to see the medevacs or the liberators flying by. So um, he's going to do that. I'm actually going to use turrets. Um, at least I should. Yeah, so get a Viking position by him. I can also do the same thing as well. And you can do this because, like I said, when you have map vision, like so, it's easy for you to reposition these Vikings and send them here as you see the army coming, right? But for the meantime here, his only real threat is like some big medevac drop or some Raven Harass or something like that, right? So then that's where these things fly in. It becomes very annoying. Um, so that's why he puts them here. And actually, actually, I should do the same thing. I do not because I'm bad. Um, and yeah, so then pretty much at this point here, it just kind of stays that way. Um, we kind of keep fighting for map vision, uh, some sensor towers. If you want to do sensor towers, and which I would highly recommend as well, because why not? You definitely want to put one around here, uh, because it lets you see farther out around this area. What happens sometimes, especially to me, um, is that if I don't actually see the, his army killing this, by the time they kill this and stim down here, this distance here is really, really short, which means they're immediately threatening my third. And oftentimes I'm over here and I can't react in time and I kind of just die. Um, so that's why I highly suggest doing that or leaving a Marine here, like I said, or up here to be able to pick that up. Um, very important. I highly suggest doing that. So here you'll see something that I do is I move out here. I kind of do something I talked about earlier, which is sometimes people, by the time they're here, they just commit, which I end up doing here, actually. So you can see, I come right here, he sees me, I'm going in for the dive, he immediately repositions his army. But he kind of takes a little bit to siege these tanks. These tanks come here. Now he made a little bit of a micro mistake, he ate a bunch of shots on his marines here. Obviously that's not um, something that you want to happen. Um, he also is not building any more vikings, which uh, I actually solved as well. But that means that we're even on the viking count. So I can contest this here. He actually lands the first shot, which is really good for him. And I'll kind of keep going. So he kind of he kind of does stall me out for the most part here. Um, these two tanks are, however, uh, matrixed, so I'm able to still hit it as I fight for this. And he kind of missed my code a little bit with the Vikings taking a little bit too many shots on top of the missile. So you can see, even though you have the vision here, it still requires some micro, and that's something you guys need to definitely respect, right? Um, seeing is one thing, being react reacting is another thing, but, you know, had he not been in position, he would have not only lost two tanks here for free, he would have also been stood and stuck here. I would have actually see each closer here, and this game very well may have been over. Um, but this actually saved him quite a bit. And he still has some ravens left over as well. Um, and then here you go, he finally cleans it up, right, with the leftover ravens. Um, and then you can see I, I go for a drop here. He actually sees me, and I... Again, I see his army steaming up, so then I, I redrop this. But I, I really could just go back here, so this is just um, maybe too out of out of like the subject matter that we're talking about. But yeah, so you, you can see just how useful it is to have that map vision, right? It, the exact same thing would have happened here, and he would have been able to react the same way, just steaming up here. So you know, at the end of the day, I still retain this map vision out here in the middle of the map. Um, but I don't have any sensor towers. I definitely didn't place any turrets here, so it's a mistake already from me at least. Um, and I do end up losing this. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you can see here, just real quick, shift right here, same thing happens. He, this is a mistake, by the way. <laughs> and he's in position for it, so this one didn't work out as well. But you can kind of see how it becomes very scary. You don't have the units in place. So definitely remember, on top of just taking the map vision, please, please, guys, replace it. When you can, I know it's hard, but when you can, just replace it. Or try your best to put those sensor towers up here. I think he's actually the mystery. So, yeah, so that's going to be it, guys. Um. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys for the next one.